Stampers and welcome to Laura's Stamp Pad. Today I just have to show you the Cookie Cutter Christmas stamp set and the coordinating punch which is the Cookie Cutter Builder Punch. Of course you can bundle and save 10% whenever you purchase both of them which is a super fabulous steal. So this is absolutely adorable. I've had so much fun with it. Um, I do have to admit that here's the stamp set. Let me show it to you. I do have to admit I'm not a huge fan of the Santa. I find him to be a little creepy. And at first I totally thought this was like an Eskimo or like a Moon Man sort of guy. Um, but he's the teddy bear. He's just missing all of his little facial features so that you can stamp them in a different color. So love that two-step stamping. Then there's the little gingerbread. He's probably my favorite. Um, I do super love him. He's adorable too. And if you notice, he still fits the punch just upside down. How fabulous is that? And then there's the little actual Eskimo. But this looks like one of those like babies in um, in you know like all bundled up in one of their little carrier things for winter time. So then you of course have your little um, teddy bear face and your two bows, your little boy bow and girl bow, your little teddy bear ears, and then there's the little dots um, as well as um, your little flower there, and then some adorable greetings that are perfect for um, all of these images. For example, there's warm heartfelt greetings for a very Merry Christmas. So that's just, um, you know, that's perfect for the little Eskimo, or if you wanted to make this into a little Eskimo. There's a to and from, and then there's have yourself a very Merry Christmas, which I used on on this one with that adorable little teddy bear and I just thought that that doily went so well with that teddy bear as that little you know rustic cutesy look and then um, I added one of the little hearts which is in the punch to that so you could do that or you could also use um, one of the enamel shapes and I used a little enamel shape just for a little pop of a heart up there on this gingerbread one and of course there's also wishing you a season as sweet and joyful as the friendship we share, put on a happy face and cold hands. So adorable little greetings. Then I also have, there's the um, fabulous little reindeer and I love this one because I wanted to do one that had um, like all of the reindeer but then it also had the little Rudolph up front and I thought I really don't think I can punch out all of those reindeer um, to put on one card. So how am I going to do it to where it looks like all the other reindeer are there but then Rudolph really stands out with his adorable red nose which I used some of the um, red glimmer paint Paper for that and my little half inch circle punch. So I just punched that out and popped it up with a little um, Stampin' Dimensional to add a little bit more texture. And then of course I did the greeting there and added a little bit of Baker's Twine. For the, um, for the background though, the one thing, the tip I have for that is to um, pick sort of a somewhat centrally located, like not really the center because let's be honest, we don't want to worry about trying to find the perfect center. So um, I just picked probably, I think this one is probably I did first. So it's kind of the middle but towards the bottom. And then you just want to stamp above and above and below. So there's your one line. And then between these two, stamp over. So between these two, I stamped. And then again, I did above and below. And then over here, I did here, above, and below. And then I did like an imaginary um, fourth row here. So I had those ears so that it looked like the pattern was continuous and not just on my card. So that's how you get that awesome background. Also, by not having them like in straight lines going sideways. You don't have to worry about it being perfect. Um, you can't really tell whether they're perfect going up and down because they're just kind of look random. So um, that also helps by doing this sort of pattern that helps with that random look and not having to worry um, that one is higher or lower or crooked or straight or anything like that. So that's the little tip for that one. And then um, I have these two here. One of the other little tips I wanted to, to share with you today is I used a piece of, des or of scrap white or vanilla, whichever you prefer for your card. And this measure is just a little under two inches. So you could do like one and three quarters to two inches. So any sort of scrap strips that you have like that, that's what you can use to get all of your little images. So the image I'm going to do today is the little teddy bear. 
or I'm sorry, nope, I've actually pulled out the um, the gingerbread man. And the gingerbread man and the teddy bear are very um, solid images. So sometimes you'll kind of come out and it'll look like a little like white. For example, like I don't know how well you can see, but he looks kind of like white and textured rather than like a smooth solid ink up here by the ear. A couple tips I have for that is one, when you ink it up, don't just smash it into the ink pad, but sort of do a tap, tap, tap all over your ink pad so that you're getting all of the color and it's really like pushing and pulling and going all over your image. So you wanna stamp it all over your ink pad to ink it up really well. And then you wanna make sure that you stamp it down with nice, even pressure. One of the other tips is a few of the first times that you stamp the image when it's brand new, it sort of um, doesn't seem to want to pick up ink very well. So if you're having that problem, stamp it a couple times on scrap paper. So just ink it up, stamp it all over some scrap paper, ink it up, stamp it all over on some scrap paper, and then do it a third time onto your project. And then you'll find out that it has like a lot more of a nice even look. And I think that's just um, some of the, maybe the oils from the manufacturing and the processing, or it's just staticky or something about um, a new stamp sometimes does that where the ink wants to pool around and not give a nice coverage there. So now you have this nice long, strip and you can just slide it into your punch here line up that fabulous little guy and punch so there you have that adorable look and then I just went ahead and I punched out all the other little images that are on the punch as well there's the little heart there's the bow there's two big circles and well did I lose one of the little circles I've already lost one once before I even started the video and now I lost it again. Well, here's a white one. So there's also two of the smaller circles as well. So here's that punch. I don't know how well you can see it with the glare and everything. Um, so you have all those images. So you can always just slide in a piece of paper and do you know, just the bow there on the side or just the heart up in the corner. Or you can do the whole um, the whole little gingerbread man or the whole little body just like that. So lots of great ways to use that. And I also wanted to share with you some non-holiday looking cards because the teddy bear is just so adorable. I did these little teddies. Aren't they super cute? So I did a little baby boy and a little baby girl and I used the greatest greetings love at first sigh. Aww. So I did, um, I stamped him in Bermuda Bay full strength and then I just stamped him again. So I just inked it up once, stamped it twice. So I got the darker one and the lighter one and I punched him out. I did the little faces with basic black. Here I did Melon Mambo, so I did full strength and then I stamped it again. And I just um, overlapped their little fingers there. For the ears, I will say for the ears, um, those are a double stamp. Let me show you that. So they're a connected double stamp, which you can't see very well. Here, let's see. Right there at the top. So they're connected, so you don't have to worry about the spacing of those. So I actually, um, I stamped those down, and then I just rounded off the top, but left a bottom piece. So let's see, let me pull back out my chocolate chip here, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So I stamped them down just like that. So they're nice and perfectly spaced apart. And then let me find my paper snips. So then I just rounded over them. So let's quickly do some fussy cutting here. Okay, so here I have now finished fussy cutting my little teddy bear ears. So you can see I just rounded out the tops, but I still left that bottom side because I want to have something that I can use to attach it to the back of my little teddy bear. So for example, here I know it's still the same image as the teddy bear even though it's the gingerbread man. So this will then give you a little something to hold on to back there for whenever you're adding your adhesive. Here I'm going to go ahead and do it on the front side so you can see it better on that brown. So there I just added my little teddy bear ears popped up. 
so you don't have to worry um, about stamping them perfectly behind the teddy bear, but yet you can still add those and pop up with dimensionals your little teddy bear. On this one, I actually did it um, all flat, so he doesn't pop up at all. I just stamped him down and then stamped the little ears on top of him, but if you're wanting to, um, to pop them up, then you'll just want to cut them out just like that. So super fabulous there. And I also wanted to show you guys, there's the Cookie Cutter Halloween stamp set. So this also coordinates with that fabulous Cookie Cutter Builder Punch. So you can use that punch on lots of different images. So here we have a little scarecrow, a little mummy, um, a little Dracula, and a little skeleton. And I have seen the mummy done for some Get Well cards that are super cute. So lots of versatility with this bundle um, and lots of stamp sets that coordinate with it. So this is the Cookie Cutter Christmas stamp set bundle. So it's the stamp set and the coordinating punch and you can get so many fabulous looks out of it. Let me know which one your favorite is. Is it the little boy and girl baby teddy bear? The little brown traditional teddy bear? Do you like the, um, the reindeer here? Or there's of course the snowman or the fall set. So let me know in the comments which one you're the most excited about. I would love to hear from you. Of course I'll be posting all of these um, cards on my blog, laurastamppad.com, so you can check those out there. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe if you're new as I post every Tuesday and Thursday. And I'll see you guys next time. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.